Hey everyone, Rich from Graphics Outfitters. Uh, today we're going to show you a little bit of our uh, Score HD football application. So the football application is an add-on skin to our base Score HD render system. Score HD is available for um, Wirecast, live stream, uh, vMix, um, or pretty much any system that uses some sort of <coughs> chroma key or and a remote desktop um, capture system, presenter system. Um, also available for the uh, Blackmagic ATEM via HDMI input and TriCaster through the uh, IVGA network input and uh, last but not least uh, HDSDI key and fill. So the same graphics work uh, over the entire uh, different workflows. So um, makes trans uh, transitioning from platform to platform uh, much, much easier because it spans all those workflows. So the first thing we want to introduce you to is the Score HD Pro football application. And uh, we have the render window set up next to it so we can see the interaction between the two. Um, and the first thing we want to show you is this is the basically control mechanism for the different functions of the Score HD. Um, and then down here is a more traditional uh, control surface for manually um, integrating uh, data into the Score bug. So Score HD takes data from either Score um, from Score Bridge. So Score Bridge can provide data from uh, numerous scoreboard controllers, Fairplay, Dactronics, OES, Whiteway, um, <clears throat> and um, or it can import data from a scoreboard uh, from a camera shooting the scoreboard via our Score OCR software. So you can set up a camera, shoot it, and retrieve the data in real time off of just a uh, cheap black and white video camera. We have other videos on our website that uh, detail score OCR, so I won't go into that uh, very much um, in this, and we'll concentrate mainly on <coughs> uh, the Score HD football application. The first thing about um, the Score HD football application is the inclusion of a clip player. So the clip player will play back full screen um, clips uh, pretty much anything that will play back in uh, Windows Media Player will play back <coughs> in the Score HD uh, clip player. And the clip player spans across all of our different applications, football, basketball, volleyball, etc. So um, if you have a platform that lacks a media player or a clip player, then Score HD can give you that functionality to play back, um, you know, commercials, um, beauty sh uh, video, video of uh, scenes around the stadium that you pre-record. So very powerful that the fact that it comes with a uh, integrated clip player. So to play back a clip you simply put the clip into the Score HD folder um, under resources <clears throat> under full screen. And then here we have a Starbucks crazy um, beliefs um, commercial. And so we have put that into the folder and once we do that we can refresh the folder and then the thumbnail will show up in the Score HD application of that clip file. So we will select that, and then you can see over here on the um, playback side in the renderer that we are in fact playing back the full screen, full resolution, the full rate clip uh, into the Score HD renderer. So again, like I mentioned, if your <coughs> current system workflow doesn't have a clip player, then this is a very powerful function to add. Um, again, the Score HD football application is an add-on uh, to our Score HD base rendering software, and Score HD football sells for $499. So we can take out the clip player, and now we're back to um, our main render window. The next thing we'll show you is how easy it is to set up um, a typical title card graphic going into your show um, and having 3D helmets in the title cards. Now these are all real-time rendered 
and easy to change logos and colors on the fly which we'll show you here. So here under title card helmets I select that. Um, I simply come in I can select the logo and I can select colors for the helmets and I can put in a little bit of information like the location of the stadium here uh, for this particular school. Once I've set that up um, I can then use the title card at any time by simply putting in the in button and you'll see that the real-time helmets these are rotating slightly in 3D in real time so let's say that you wanted to change one of those to a different team then we can simply take those out we can come in we can select a different team we can select a different logo color for the uh, helmet out of our color picker so we can pick up this color and just that easily your title card helmets have now changed to a different team we haven't changed the team name or anything but the helmets we've changed in real time so that shows the powerful uh, features of the renderer now the other thing that you can do that's kind of nice is now I can come back and while that's rendering let's say that we took a beauty shot of people entering the stadium um, outside coming in we can also take our clip player and we can play back a clip under that uh, title card <clears throat> uh, 3D helmet scene so again very powerful uh, very simple to use very simple to set up so the next thing we're going to show you is the actual score bug the actual um, graphic that will show the clock uh, score and all the related information and statistics integration with that graphic so again here we return to the application in the football application you can see on the side there's a game setup and a team setup when we select the team setup we can again pick logos for the teams the colors put in a little bit of information like the mascot the school name the full name of the school um, and that's really all you need to do since this is based on a real-time render once you put those logos in here those logos appear everywhere in the correct place in all the other graphics within the uh, the application and, and the uh, play out so <clears throat> I'll come in and I'll change this again to um, Carlsbad and we will set the color back again to we can come back if we want to we can set an RGB values in here um, if we want if we want to uh, input exact values so really that's all you have to do in the setup of this we can come to the up to the score bar and from there we press the end you'll see the uh, <clears throat> animation the in animation for the score bar and right now we are uh, generating the clock from um, our uh, score OCR system so I'll show you that in a few minutes so you'll see the clock and the play clock starting to increment when the video gets to that point um, the let me, let me move it back there there we go 226 28 so I'll show you that real quick here is our information coming from <clears throat> our playback video 218 with 35 seconds on the shot clock and that information is being shown in our score bar so um, very very easy um, as you can see here we have they haven't changed the, the data for Carlsbad so we'll come back here and they are the Lancers and they are Carlsbad high you can see it change in real time and here there we go so <clears throat> as you can see very fast very simple I can add in um, rankings into the score bar to change the rankings that we see uh, the other thing to remember is that this is based on a real-time render so the great thing about a real-time render is that any animations and everything that we do never have to be re-rendered even though we change the size so let's say that you were doing a TV broadcast one day and you wanted a score bar to be smaller and positioned differently and then the next day you were doing a web stream and you wanted the score bar to be larger so again it's all completely resizable um, so this shows you the power again we can run the animations 
and there's no need to re-render anything. So speaking of animations, I can run you through some of the uh, animations that uh, Score HD Football uh, application has. It provides timeout animations. You can see the timeout chiclet below also animates as it goes out. <clears throat> also, we have uh, touchdown animations. So I can come to Lancers having possession and hit touchdown. And again, all these logos and everything that we're doing are all being done in real time. There's nothing that has been pre-rendered in this. If we go to the Pirates and we give them a touchdown, again, scoring animations, the score rolls like a roulette wheel. And to show you that this is in true real time, we'll come back to team setup and we'll pick another logo for Carlsbad, which will now change. And now we'll come back to Carlsbad, the Lancers, and we'll do a touchdown. And you'll see that indeed that logo changed. <clears throat> and all of that is being done in absolute real time. So we'll go back and put the proper logo back in there. Now, the other cool thing about the score bar is that it has the ability to provide stats, social media, um, and many other uh, attributes into the stat bar. So in the stat bar score bar options, we have text, image, or movie files. So if we select text, we can come in and we can build a uh, file that has all kinds of different uh, information. So we can do a standard pop-up, which you'll see here which gives us our officials. We can bring out the line judges. We can give a locator like that. Or we can put in switch cases. For instance, we want to come in, we want to do a, um, a home statistic. So we can put the little switch case in front of it in brackets, and then this will automatically give us the logo and the data and that's all that's done to do, be able to generate that. Again, I can come to Away, and I can put that in, and it will have the Away logo. So I can, for instance, I can come in here, and I can put Away Testing Now. And I can <clears throat> add that to the list. Then I can come in, and I can say Away Testing Now, and I can put that in, and that automatically shows up. So you can also edit this file that's a, basically a CSV file. Um, let me bring it in here. So there is the file, drop down text, and there is the file that we operate from. So um, I didn't save that, so I should have added that so it'll show up into the file. So um, the other things that we can do in the text bar, um, a way if we can do team versus team comparisons by adding the T so the two logos show up on either side. Um, we can do statistics, rushing yards total. Um, the other thing we can do is we can come in and we can add in uh, s uh, social media. So we can do Twitter in this case and we can do Facebook. So um, one of the last things I want to show you, we can also do bring in an image. We can pick images. So if you had um, an image that you want to put up, and when you see this, the little uh, silver bar around it, when you put in a different size image, that will actually um, re it will render that in real time, the size to go around a rectangular image that you put in there. Then before we end this session, um, we'll go to the movie file, and we can now select a movie file for sponsors um, and we can run that and you can see that that runs back <clears throat> in real time. So you have movie files, uh, text and image files. So this will complete this uh, section. Uh, look for part two and we'll come back and we'll finish up uh, showing you how to import uh, school rosters, uh, generic lower thirds, player lower thirds, uh, 3D player lineup slabs, and announcers. We look forward to seeing you in our, second, our next uh, section of this video.